how excited are you to, to be in this atmosphere right now? Well, I'm excited, but you know, I'm just going to play it like I play any other game and approach it like I approach any other game, and that's work hard, you know. Do you feel like you, you've kind of gotten in a groove? You, you had a really, it seemed like you had a really good game against Georgia State. Do you feel like you're, you guys are really moving fast on defense right now? Well, I think we're moving fast. You know, I think we're catching on to the defense. Our whole defense is catching on and buying in to what Coach Shell, you know, has brought here. And I think we're ready to compete at a high level. But what, after watching Florida, what do you feel like they do well? I think they got a lot of tackle over there. We got to adjust to quick. You know, they, they do a lot of tackle over power. And we just got to, you know, just adjust to that and just, Knock them, knock them up field, knock the offensive lineman up field. The running back, Gillespie, seems like a pretty shifty guy. What have you seen out of him? Well, you know, we just got to pretty much tackle him. You know, we got to gang tackle him. Or we get, you know, one guy can't get him down, other guy can come and just try to gang tackle him. But he's a nice running back, you know. When when you, Danny McCullers and um, Mo Couch are in there, that seems like really solid front line right now. I know you guys didn't get to have that front a lot against Georgia State, but how confident are you guys in that, that three-man front there? Because it seems like you guys, are, when you're in there, you're rolling. Yeah, I think I think we're very comfortable. You know, we got a very big guy, you know, Dan McCullough. He's set in the front, you know, and more. You know, we got two solid ends. I think we, you know, are strong at that position. Did, you know, Texas a and I think, got eight sacks against Florida. Do you feel like you guys can replicate that? Yeah, I think I think so, you know. We just got to get out of the quarterback, you know, get off the ball. And just, Create some habits, you know. Well, why were they so successful? Well, I, I, I mean, reason why because they was getting off the ball, you know. I mean, size don't matter, you know. It does. Some people think, but you just gotta get off the ball and use your quickness and speed when it's pass rush. Coach Dooley said yesterday this will be a hit back game. You know, maybe whereas Georgia State wasn't as much, but this will be. Can you see that from looking at the tape? I can, you know, they're a lot of they they do a lot of runs, you know, a lot of power, you know. They like to run the ball, you know. And their defense is pretty good too, so yeah. What what do you see from Florida's offensive line? Where do, where are some of the challenges gonna come for, for well, you they, and they I mean they run a lot of, you know, powers and a lot of tackle over, so you know, we just gotta adjust to it and just you know, listen to the call and just get there and play the gap, you know, that's all we gotta do. I guess Coach Dooley had been a little critical of y'all's rush lanes early on versus NC State. How do you feel like you've progressed over the past two weeks? Well, I think now we have learned our, that we got to maintain our pass rush lanes. You know, we just can't just go rushing all crazy. We just got to create some pass rush lanes and just stay in them. And just when the quarterback step up, we talk about Is that like a, another level of discipline? Or yeah, it's just another level of discipline. That's it, you know. How much... Did you look at what Texas A&M was able to do against Florida? I mean, they had eight sacks. How much did you all look at that film and kind of see what they were doing that well, was they, effective? They, they, they got after the quarterback. You know, they had great speed. Yeah. They, had little, they had little guys up front, yeah. you know, and they was getting off the ball. Yeah. You know? But on the run, I feel like, you know, they wasn't doing too good on the run. But yeah. they, they could improve on that. But I think, you know, we can get after the quarterback and, you know, Get a couple of sacks out of it. Is what y'all done in the three four uh, as a front seven? I mean, how much of it is it just a fraction of what's in the playbook? I mean, what you guys have done the first two games. Wait, what you mean by that? Is there a lot more left that you guys haven't shown? Well, uh, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not gonna say that. You yeah, know, we, we got a lot of stuff, you know. Well, what have you seen from McCuller so far the first two games? I know he hasn't been out there a whole lot. You guys have been in a lot of nickel. Well, I, I see a, I see a lot of guys are triple teaming him, you know, because he's a big guy and he's freeing me and Moe up, you know. That's pretty much it in base, you know. Gary, can you just talk about how I mean, the first two games for it has really looked like they're committed to being physical, running the ball downhill. Is that you know, is the defense in line, and how much exciting is that when you know you're going to get challenged? Well, I mean, we excited, you know. We just got to adjust and listen to the calls and just – Play our technique, you know. That's pretty much it. We play our technique, we're gonna win. Can you just feel the different, you know, attitude on campus this week on the practice yeah, field? Well, I, I do, you know. Well, we work hard every, you know, every week to prepare, you know. But this week, you know, you know, guys are stepping up. You know, there's a lot of energy out there. Can you tell it even outside of the football program, like you know, kids yeah, on I campus tell, going I can to tell cafeteria? On campus, like when people just, like when we walk on campus, people just have a look like. Tennessee is back, you know. So. Florida gave up several sacks the other day to Texas A&M. What have you seen from their line in terms of pass protection on the film? Are they, are 
that they made some mistakes and they vulnerable there? Well, I'm not trying to talk about nobody, but some. No, I'm not going to talk about that. But I, I just think that uh, Texas a and had a, you know, a good offense. I mean, a defensive line, you know, for as Russia, you know, they got after the quarterback. Do you guys feel like there's some opportunities there for you guys? Yes, sir. I think so. I think you know we can run a couple of games, you know, on them guys, and you know we can do a lot. We can do a lot of things against them to make us have a lot of sacks, you know. Are you guys satisfied with the sack numbers you put up? No, so sir. Far? We're not. You know, we, we want to get a lot more. You know, mm -hmm. we want to. We just want to do better with that. You know. Do you guys feel like you've been close? You've obviously well, had some been pressure. We've been close. We've been, I mean, we're getting pressure up front, but. We never satisfy, you know. We always want to get better at that number of sacks, you know. Does this week feel any different for you personally, getting back into the SEC with the big game? Well, no, no, sir. I just, I, I mean, every week the same for me, you know. I don't, I don't approach them different, you know. I go out there and practice hard on Monday, and you know, work. And on Saturday, come out play, you know, best of them to my ability, and that's gonna be good.